Okay, so we're here with Dave at the Flak Panzer Restoration Project, who's in charge of the turret and weapon system. So, obviously the turret's a different color from when we first came to you guys, um, and stuff has been going on, so can you let us know a bit about what you guys have been doing? Yeah, uh, the color has actually changed quite a bit. Uh, what we did was had uh, Wiccan's dry ice uh, sandblasting come in, and they sandblasted the turret for us. As well, we had base maintenance uh, do the paint job on, on it. Uh, the paint was uh, donated by Sherwin-Williams. And the reason why we had it painted and changed was to get it back to uh, the original color. And we also took it down to a Kino Day uh, in May, on the 27th, 28th of May, uh, to show what our progress on the project. So what we've also done is to get the turret off, what we had to do is weld brackets inside. Um, those brackets, uh, Mr. Metals down in Toronto and that, uh, did the brackets for us. We had base maintenance here on base, weld them in. We did it inside so that when we take the brackets off after the turret is put back on the tank, it's, it's easier to uh, hide or fix the grind marks in that. It's easier, it's not gonna show on the outside where most people are gonna see it. And we're gonna make it so that you can't see it even on the inside when we're done with it. There is battle damage uh, all through uh, across the turret as well. That battle damage is staying. We're not gonna repair it or anything. So it's gonna, it's gonna stay and it's gonna look like it was in 1944, 1945 with the battle damage on it. Okay, so here we are at the uh, gun mounts and holy crap, there's a lot of steel here. Yeah, there is uh, a lot of components that we've already taken off as well. Uh, a lot of components on the right hand side as well as uh, on the left hand side, the brackets. Uh, recuperators, everything else that we've gone and that we're able to take off right now without uh, too much hassle, uh, we've, we've taken off. Um, right now, we're in the process of trying to get this right hole side mount uh, off. And part of the reason is, is, is the gun is slightly elevated. And what happen, what's ha happening is the cable that's in here and that goes up and around is, is under tension. And the way to get that off because, is to take this whole side off. Part of the problem is, is that on the other side here, there's a heavy duty coiled spring. And to get that off, we have to take this bracket off. And how we found that out is I got in touch with a gentleman down in Michigan, Chris Chase, uh, who happens to have uh, the one that came out of Manitoba, uh, a flackering two centimeter, flackering 38 gun. Uh, mount and everything else. He has it down there. I sent him a message on our Facebook page. He got back, sent me the pictures, told me, told us what to do and everything else. So a great help from Chris on, on, on that part. And we're just trying to get this. We got right down to taking all the bolts off. The only issue now is this pin going across that holds the two plates together is, is being stubborn. So more penetrating oil next time we're in. Uh, before we leave today, actually more penetrating oil. Next time we're in, we use uh, the heat to it and hopefully push this pin out that way, out to, the, out to the left side so we can get this off and then able to unloosen the cable. Once we unloosen the cable, then we're able to unloosen uh, the springs on that side. Uh, we've gotten a lot of stuff off. Uh, we previously got stuff off while it was still in the turret on the tank. As you can see down at the bottom, a uh, couple of the rods for the cables and that are rusted out, as well as down on the bottom here uh, is rusted out. You know, uh, when it's stripped down, completely stripped down and nothing there, that's when we're gonna be able to see what parts we're gonna have to like cut off, cleanly cut off and refabricate, re-weld on here because we can't keep that, we can't keep that there. That's, that's just rotten. And, Unfortunately, we can't keep everything on the, on the tank or on the turret because we know we're going to have to replace it. Now, on the subject of rot, now that you bring it up, one of the, one of the questions that comes up a lot um, is why you guys cut these support beams over here. Okay, so as you can see, the support beams, these, these would have been, they were attached at one time to uh, the, the mount. And part of the reason why, or the main reason why we cut them out, sorry, is that they were rotted from underneath. This is the underneath side. This is the top side. 
you can see they were already starting to split. But the bottom side, you can stick your hand in. Uh, the concern was safety for all of us working on the gun inside the turret and inside the chassis as well. So taking off the turret, when you had, we took the gun mount out first, then we took the turret off. But there's no way we could save these at all. There's at times that you have to cut the metal away because all it's gonna do is just rot and rot and we couldn't save these. For safety reasons for that, we said, okay, let's cut them off. We'll save them, but that's the reason why we cut them off. You can't save, we can't save everything. And what we can save, we need to save it. It's all fun and games till uh, someone gets hurt, then it becomes a sport. But personally, I'd rather continue to have fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, good analogy. But, you know, for, for what we're doing here, it's, it's, a, it's a passion. It's a joy. It's relaxation. It's, it's fun doing this. And all of us that are working on the project uh, look at it that way. And all have the same goal in mind goal. And, in in our minds and seeing the end result of of this gun and this this tank rolling and taking it to the ranges and actually firing it ultimate goal you can i can see that i can vision that and that's that's where that's where it's going it's there's no other no other way to do it and it's it's the same for us uh we will definitely continue to follow stock you guys yeah as the project goes on as much as possible and yeah so stay tuned guys thanks a lot for your time dave yeah no problems thanks appreciate having you guys around and enjoy it